Another overtime win for this Wagner Seahawks squad. I'm joined along by the goal scorer, the game-winning goal scorer, and Charlie Muller. Let's talk about, well, the game-winning goal. Able to see it go by, get it on the corner. Saw it on the corner last week versus Sacred Heart. You're able to be the one to push it home. Just talk about that play and able to get it to go. I mean, it was obviously not like a beautiful goal, but I think at the end of the day, it was a goal and that's all that matters. And yeah, I was really happy to score and be in the post. And yeah, I literally just put my stick down and the ball again, uh, went against my stick. So that's all it was. But I mean, a goal is a goal, so I'm happy. <laughs> Well, that's kind of what you describe this win as a little bit. It yeah. was kind of a dirty, a little yeah. gritty game. It wasn't perfect uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a win. And to be able to come away with points here, get the win, what does that kind of say about this team? Um, yeah, I think that really shows that we're never going to stop fighting, that we always, like, no matter if we have maybe not don't have our like best game we always gonna keep fighting and we always like everybody always says we're a second half team i mean of course that's like kind of bad on the one point because we don't start up very good always but then in the second half it also shows that we always fight and we are always gonna fight to win and i think that's definitely what this game today showed us was what the last game showed us like we're just a fighting team and we always do everything to win Three straight overtime games, back-to-back -back overtime wins. Three of the last four have been in overtime. You talk about a second-half team. You guys have been an extra quarter uh, team. Talking about that, that mentions that fight, your ability to go out. And a bulk of those in overtime, you've been able to come away with the wins. Saying that and being a team that is still, in a way, gelling together and starting to now fully see it gel together yeah. to battle like this with this 11 and then this seven on the field uh, what does that really say about you guys um i don't know it just shows like that we are a good team and that we can play good especially in overtime and overtime we have so much space where we can like really play our game where we have like seven very good players very fast players our outside mids like romy and av there's perfect for overtime they're so fast and yeah that really shows our game, I guess. Well, kind of going on this one, a big one in NEC play, but obviously Sunday, massive one yeah. in conference versus St. Francis. Yeah. They come into town, last one here at home of the year. Well, kind of go on the emotions going into that one. Um, yeah, I think we just have to be better than today. We just have to start playing from the begin. I mean, today we played the five minutes, but then after that we just stopped playing. And I think we just have to be better than that. We just have to go to every quarter, give our 100%, and I think then we're going to have a good chance against San Francis. Um, yeah, and it's also like when we win against San Francis, we I think in the tournament. So that's going to give us an extra um, motivation to come out and just score goals and have fun on the field. <laughs> well, sure. Best of luck on Sunday. Congrats on the win here today. Big win for Wagner and the Seahawks. They take it 3-2 in overtime. This has been a presentation of NEC Front Row.